What's up, guys? Welcome back to the comment section. I'm Brett Cooper. So I love Target. I'm a woman in her 20s. Obviously, I like Target. But I'm not, I will say, I'm not one of those people that just goes to Target for fun and will buy anything. I know that there's a lot of girls that are like that. But Target was in the news this weekend, so we're gonna talk about that. But before we do, make sure that you go ahead and like this video, that you subscribe to this channel if you're not already, and click that little bell so that you never miss a comment section episode. So Target started trending because it launched its 2022 gay pride collection because it's almost June, which means pride month, rainbow flags. So it begins. And part of this pride collection were discreet chest binders and packing underwear, which if you don't know, chest binders are for women who want to compress their chests to look like men, like they don't have boobs, like it's before they get like top surgery. And then packing underwear is for men who want to be able to hide the package. I have a package for you. So that it looks like they don't have one because they want to be more like a woman. You know, classic stuff. Target has now decided to sell these. People were in an uproar, rightfully so. Now the B posted this. The Target announces new chest binders and packing underwear for transgender shoppers. Megan Basham, who's actually one of our Daily Wire reporters, tweeted about it and said, Target's new products to celebrate Pride Month include chest binders and packing underwear. The Tomboy X collab features undergarments like chest binders, packing underwear, bras, and boy shorts in sizes small to 4X. You can see here, this is the photo that they're using in their promotions. This is a real life non-binary trans something couple. They seem like they're having a good time. That's some of the colorful compression packing things. Oh, Jesus, kill the feed. I took a screenshot of the actual attire. You see here, pride adult tomboy X compression top beige. I have, I have a problem with the fact that it's called tomboy. I was a tomboy. I still identify as a tomboy. That doesn't mean that I need to flatten my chest and walk around pretending that I'm a man. So it's weird that they're conflating that with being a tomboy that feels dangerous to young people. Maybe dangerous is not the right word, but it feels harmful for impressionable young minds. There were a lot of people who came to Target's defense and said they aren't binders, like they're just compression tops. Look at the name. Somebody posted this in store. It's Target selling binders for Pride Month is so fucking cool. What? Oh my God, posted a picture. But look at the tag on the actual items. It says, quote, designed for LGBTQIA plus community to help you move through the world with comfort and ease. Our compression top is a more comfortable alternative to the traditional binder offering a more snug, pain-free way to minimize your chest. This is not just about keeping the girls in place while you do cardio at the gym. It is a binder. There is no way around it. It might be an alternative to the traditional binder, but it is still a binder nonetheless. So don't try to, you know, throw it off as just being a sports bra. Somebody said it is irresponsible to equate being a tomboy with gender dysphoria. Yes. Like that's why I am so grateful that I grew up in a time and honestly just grew up with a mother who let me run around in overalls and play in the dirt and have all guy friends up until I was in high school without being like, maybe she's a boy. I grew up with three older brothers. What did you expect? Let's be fair. My man tits need some kind of workout. <laughs> okay. Yeah, hope you're all happy now. This is a good one. Should be binding those abdominal fat rolls. <laughs> oh God. Yeah, okay. Look at those jelly rolls. Jelly rolls, I tell ya. Fucking hell. I'm going to the fucking Amish market from now on. Bunch of political bullshit. Can't even buy a fucking apple anymore without some shit trying to be woke. They're not wrong. And it, that is a common concern. And I do, I post about this a lot and I try to provide alternatives to like big stores, big corporations. And one of my favorites is Nimi Skincare. You guys know I love them, I talk about them daily, but they are the only non-woke, conservative-owned skincare brand. In this day and age, it is so important to be able to find alternatives to our favorite products and things that we need that do support our values. And for me, skincare is a huge one. I don't know if you guys remember, but a couple of years ago, Sephora dropped one of their beauty influencers, Amanda Ensing, for being conservative, so a lot of conservatives basically started boycotting the brand, which meant that we, you know, didn't have access to a lot of skincare products, a lot of our favorite brands we couldn't buy anymore. So finding Nimi skincare has been huge because I love being able to use brands that support my values. I know that I am putting my money where my mouth is. So if you would like to try Nimi skincare, click the URL that is in the description and use code Cooper for 15% off of your order and your conscience will be as clean as your face. As any corporation does, Target has the right to sell whatever they please. I'll defend them there because they are a private company. Even though I think that these binders and packing underwear, it's incredibly weird. Basically Target is just trying to get brownie points from the Alphabet Mafia. So the takeaway here is just vigilance. Schools, corporations, whatever, you name it. 
they are slipping this gender ideology in everywhere. So open your eyes and just pay attention basically because we can't use laws and government to change the culture to fit our ideas. It is never a great idea, nor is it effective to use government force to completely attempt to change the culture in our direction. It is our job as individuals to lead by example, to attempt to change the culture and change society into something that we think is aligned with our values and is most fruitful. And that is something that we can do in our daily lives. And Andrew Breitbart once famously said that politics is downstream from culture. Once we change this culture, once we individuals do the work, politics will follow. And I fully understand and I know that that idea is sometimes not as popular in modern conservative circles. And I mean, I get it because I look at a lot of this stuff and I get inflammatory and I'm thinking, oh my God, this is so harmful. This is awful. I disagree with this. And immediately my mind goes to, we, got to, we have to legislate it. We have to ban it. But you have to take a step back. We have to look at history. That really has never worked. And legislating this morality, it's, it's what the left does. We don't really want to be like them. And I get it if you disagree, but that's just my two cents on it. You're welcome to disagree. I think that this Target stuff is weird as hell, but they're still a private company. So just keep your kids away from it. Guys, we are adding new comment section content every single day, so make sure that you are subscribed to this channel and ring that bell so that you never miss a video. See you next time.